Okay, in this lecture we're going to talk about functions. Now, a function is uh, a special kind of relationship, so let's sort of talk about a relationships first. Now, we're talking about a relationship between uh, two variables. Say, x and y. Now, we already know about the rectangle coordinate system, which has um, an ordered pair x, y. Now, x is what we call the uh, independent variable. And uh, y is the dependent variable. All right, now... <clears throat> When we're talking about a relationship, we're saying, well, in some way, the y value uh, is related to the x value in some way. Um, so we could be looking at a set of data points where um, the um, amount of uh, carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere has to do with um, the temperature um, of the Earth, for example. So when we have... Uh, this kind of relationship x, y, that would produce a set of uh, data points x, y. And so these ordered pairs, all right, form a subset of all the possible ordered pairs in the rectangular coordinate system. So all the possible ordered pairs make up this whole plane, all right, which is our rectangular coordinate system. And a subset of points Right, of the, of let's say all the um, rectangular coordinates, coordinates, okay, is a relation. All right, so for example, let's suppose that I had. Um, this set of ordered pairs. Let's suppose I had uh, negative four, um, negative four two, say, um, negative three uh, one, say, and uh, three one. Right, that's just three points, but it forms a subset of all the possible points, and so this is a relation. Let's call that M. M is equal to the set of uh, negative 4, negative 2, uh, negative 3, 1, and uh, 3, 1. And this is a relation. It doesn't have to be an algebraic uh, expression that links them together, although we'd like to have one. All right, let's suppose we take another one. Let's suppose I take another one, and this is uh, 2, 3, all right, uh, 3, 2, and 4, 5, and uh, 5, 4. Okay, so let's have a look here. So this is 2, 3, so I'll put a, uh, a cross here first, I think, to distinguish these. All right, two, three, uh, three, two. All right, four, five, uh, four, five, right here, and five, four. All right, that's a subset too, so this is a relation. All right, any subset is a relation. All right, let's try one more. Let's suppose I have um, negative 4, 3, um, 0, 6, and uh, 2, 8, and negative 4, negative 3. Right, so uh, negative 4, uh, 3 would be here. Let's, let me put a open circle there. Uh, 0, 6 would be... Here, uh, 2, 8, 
would be here. Uh, negative four, uh, negative uh, three, negative four, negative three would be here. Now this again is a relation. All right, now a function is a special relation right where no two ordered pair have the same x value right now if you look at these <clears throat> if you look at this m1 here this is the, the dots here Notice that this is negative 4, negative 2. So we're looking at the first elements. Do any of these ordered pairs have the same first element or same x value? Well, it's negative 4, we have a negative 3, and a 3. So no. So this is also a function. Okay, let's look at this one. We have a 2, a 3, a 4, and a 5. They're all different. So again, this is a function as well. Now let's look at this one. We have a negative 4, a 0, a 2, and a negative 4. Oh, here we go. So we've got this one here is a negative 4, and this one here is a negative 4. So this is not a function. Okay, so that's how we uh, distinguish those. Right, there's a number of ways we can uh, actually display functions because remember we're putting up ordered pairs we can do a, uh, a rectangular coordinate system like this to produce a sort of graph um, we could also uh, so let's have a look here ways of uh, describing a function okay so this is the first way this one here we can have a graph all right uh, number two uh, we could have, um, say, just some circles here, all right, and we could say, all right, here's our x values, so if we had this one up here, for example, we'd have a negative 4, uh, we'd have a uh, negative 3, and we'd have a 3, and if we said that this function was, say, f, all right, then this one here would get mapped to the point negative 2. Okay, this one here gets mapped to the point uh, 1. And this one here would get mapped to the point uh, 1 as well. So there's our order pair, you see, negative 4, negative 2, uh, negative 3, 1, and 3, 1. So they're the odd pairs, and that's how we could describe them. Okay. All right, so notice that we can have two, all right, uh, coming from different x's to the same y. That's okay. All right. Now, so uh, other way we could uh, have some sort of uh, machine, which is what we, we could have a machine where we're putting in an x value and we do something to it and out pops a y value. Manufacturing machines do this. We put some sort of raw material in, we apply the machine to it and out pops. All right, maybe a piston or a um, O-ring or whatever it is, okay? So in this case here, if I did this one, if I put in a negative four, then out would pop, all right, a negative two, okay? And that produces our negative 4, negative 2. Okay. If I put in a, a negative 3, then this would out, this would produce a 1. Okay, so there's another way of doing it. Now the x values, alright, is what's called uh, <clears throat> or independent um, variable. Um, values is what's called the domain. 
So up here, for this particular one here, the domain would be, let's call it dx, is equal to the set negative uh, 4, negative 3, and 3. Okay? Right, now the y values produced by applying the function And the function is just a process, is called or are called the range. Right, so for this one up here, the range, which are the y values, would simply be um, negative 2 and 1. All right, so <clears throat> that's how we how we do it. So let's look at an example. Right, uh, give the domain and range for right part A. Right, let's suppose we have the set of ordered pairs negative four. Uh, negative 2, uh, negative 1, 0, uh, 1, 2, and 3, 5. Well, the domain, right, the x values is simply the set of negative 4, uh, negative 1, 1, and three. The domain, oh sorry, the range are the y values produced negative two, uh, zero, two, and five. Okay, <clears throat> well, let's look at part B. Let's suppose I have a picture uh, of one, two, and three. Uh, what points? applying right, some sort of function and the values produced are 4, 5, 6 and 7. Let's suppose 1 goes to 4, uh, let's suppose 2 goes to 5 and 2 also goes to 6 And 3 goes to 7. Right, so <clears throat> remember that this domain is in fact for um, relations, uh, so as well as functions, and a function is just a special kind of relation. So if you look at this one here, this one here was a function, and that's the domain and range. If you look at this one here, because I have 2, 5, and 2, 6, this is not a function. But it still has a domain and range. Okay? And the domain is the set of x values, which is 1, 2, 3. The range, of course, is the set of y values, which is going to be the set... Uh, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay. All right, but it's not a function. Okay. Now, sometimes another way that we can describe a function is by means of a table. So let's suppose I have a table. And these are my x values. And the y values produced, negative 3 produces 5, 0 produces 5, 3 produces 5, and 5 produces 5. So they're all going towards 5. Okay? Now, is this a function? Well, if you look, we have all the x values are different, so it is a function. And the domain 
is of course the set negative 3, 0, 3 and 5. The range of course is only one value which is 5. Okay, and so that's how we <clears throat> and that's how we do the uh, the domain of range for a uh, relation. And of course, we can determine uh, as we go through and find the x values that are being used whether this is going to be a uh, function or just remains only as a relation. Remember, a function is a special kind of relation. So a function is a relation. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> just that it's a special one. We know two ordered pair have the same x value.